I'm going to review two Logitech silent mouses. One is the M330 silent and also the Pebble mouse Logitech Pebble M350. I'm going to compare how they sound and compare it with an old mouse. See this, uh, this one is a little bit more ergonomic. And you see the package on the back side. It says up to 10% of the noise of like um, ordinary mouse. And this pebble mouse, you see the packaging. This one also says 90% noise reduction with the same click feel. Let's see. And both of them guarantee eight, 18 months of battery life. Okay, I'm going to open it. Seems that the packaging is a little bit uh, more environment friendly, but no, there are like plastics inside. I see plastics. Ah, okay, yeah, this mouse you can use it with uh, like one computer with USB and two other computers with uh, Bluetooth, so totally three devices. And also you have this unifying USB receiver, which you can unify with another keyboard or some other device. And the button is under the mouse. I'm going to show you what, what more we have here. Okay, there. I don't know if there is more information there. I don't know why we have plastics here. Okay. It's pretty flat. Okay, now you see both of them here. Yeah, this is perhaps a little bit more ergonomic. This is really strange design, it's completely flat. Uh, you see this uh, button which you can switch to different devices on and off. And this is I think the unifying uh, logo and also Bluetooth. It's similar here, you have this unifying uh, function on and off. And uh, yeah, we need to draw this out. But uh, the function is, uh, let me just open it. There is this battery here and one AA battery and the USB receiver, which is the unifying. Just put it 
And this one is a little bit okay. Here you open it from there. We remove this piece of paper and again the same AA battery and also the unifying USB receiver is the same. Good, and you see the wheel here. Good, and it, it needs to connect now. No problem. Okay, I need to mention that uh, I myself was a little bit afraid that <clears throat> this type of... Yeah, I, I was thinking this is not a good solution. We see it's got magnets here. See, one, two, three magnets. And you have three screws here, which just snaps in. Ah, sorry, once more. Let's try again. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I think it's durable and uh, easy. Clever design. Okay, let's try. Okay, good. So I'm going to perform this dedicated noise test now. Now I'm going to perform this button noise test. We have two of these silent mouses and also we have this uh, vintage uh, Logitech mouse. I think I bought it maybe 15 years ago. This is M210, quite classic. And I put it side by side here, and I'm going to use dedicated microphone to record the sound. The microphone. At first, I do this button noise test. perform the wheel test and Middle click test. Again, middle click and okay, and middle click. Okay, great. You're done with the noise test, but I think is that it's much more quiet. You don't have this disturbing noise. You don't have this disturbing noise from uh, like old mouse. But I believe the wheel sound is similar. And the middle click 
noise. I believe this mouse has a lower noise. Yeah, but both of them, the middle click button and also the, uh, but the wheel noise is similar. It's pretty good and silent. But the middle click noise is much lower noise than old mouse, but this one has lower noise, I believe. The left and right click is pretty much similar between two mouse, these two mouses and pretty much silent but if you're really sensitive for middle click noise which i think in many of like engineering softwares or like for pan function you need it probably so you go for this mouse and if we say i mean which one is more comfortable I believe both of them are comfortable. Yeah, you get some uh, support from here. But this one is pretty much small, I think. If you want to buy ergonomic mouse, you need a little bit larger bump here in this area. Okay, now we are done.